Hello, your building can either be up to 30 floors and use all types of lift, or can be up to 100 floors and use just 3 types of lift. Click OK for 30 floors and all types of lift, and click Cancel for 100 floors and just 3 types of lift. OK, all types of lift have been enabled, but don't attempt to go above 30 floors, otherwise the building won't work. Choose a texture, and choose a building style. How do you want the ceiling to be on the ground floor? It's recommended you choose 10 foot. And now on to drawing the ground plan. Click and drag to draw the ground plan. Keep your building to scale. Each square in the background is 100 foot across. When you have finished, press any key on the keyboard. Now on to making entrances. Click on an outside wall to make an entrance. The blue dot in the middle of the screen is your starting point. If it's outside the building, you must make an entrance so you can get in. Press any key on the keyboard when you have finished. And now on to making internal walls. Click and drag to draw a wall. Press any key on the keyboard when you are finished. And now, make sure your ground plan is how you want it to be, as you can't change it later. If there are any overlapping parts, you'll have to start again from scratch. And now, moving on to the first floor and on to the rest of your building. On each floor, you'll be asked how high you want the ceiling to be. Then you'll be given three options. The first option is to create a new floor plan. If you want to do this, you have to choose this option before any of the others. By default, your floor's floor plan will be the same as the floor below. But if you click this option, you can change to have a different floor plan. The second option is add internal walls. There are defaultly no internal walls, so you can click this option to create something. The third option is to create an atrium. After you finish doing options on a floor, you can click to create another floor, or you can click to set the last floor and get taken on to doing lifts. And now on to the lift. Click where you want to put the lift. What is the lowest floor the lift goes to? And what is the highest floor? What floors do you want the lift to stop at? You can choose all floors for it to stop at all floors, but you can click choose what floors and you get the choice on each floor. Custom floors doesn't yet work, and non-stop only stops at the lowest and highest floor. What sort of lift do you want it to be? Choose what direction you can get out the lift, then click done. You can choose more than one direction if you want your lift to have more than one set of doors. Click yes to create another lift, click no and your building is now finished. Loading complete, your building is now ready. The code has appeared lower down on the screen. Go into Skyscraper Sims building folder, copy and paste any building and rename it to what you want to call it. Go into that building and delete the code, then copy and paste the code that is lower down on the screen and put it into that building. Save it and run Skyscraper Sim and see your building.